today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this Sunday fun day full of girl tea. I mean, it is, it is what it is. Did you guys watch my last video? Girl, I was gagging. I was like dead on my last video and the videos that are still to come because it's insane. Some tea, especially uh, related to New Jersey. Girl. Mm -mm -mm. But anyways, we're not going to be talking about New Jersey right now. We're about to go to the Scandal streets because we need to keep talking Vanderpump rules. Things are still happening, girl. So... I heard uh, the latest episode of Sheena Shea's podcast, uh, Shenanigans, you know, and, oof, powerful, powerful. I mean, it is a, a, an hour long, so go, and, and I mean, if you want to listen to the whole thing, just go there, you know, um, it's with Lala Kent. They talk about the reunion. They talk about everything that happened in New York. I basically already did some videos about it, you know, here. So if you want to watch those uh, as well, you know, just go to the Vanderpum Rule uh, uh, playlist, you know, and uh, everything should be there. Uh, honestly, a very powerful uh, podcast because I think she is so, I don't want to say passionate. I think she's so uh, hurt by uh, Raquel, you know, and I think people don't really realize how much Raquel meant to Sheena, you know, Sheena was her ride or die, Sheena saw this little Bambi eye bitch right here, you know, and she was like, no, let me nurture her, let me show her the way, you know, let me take her under my arm, under my wing, you know, and I'm going to show her a whole new world. And she did. She helped her so much. They become like BFFs, you know, after uh, Raquel, you know, break the engagement with James Kennedy. She was there for her. She let her stay at her apartment. She let her like give her every single tool that you can imagine, right? just for Raquel to basically wait for her to go to sleep and backstab her, you know, like, like, honestly, that that's, that's the whole thing behind everything, you know, that's what Raquel did, so in this situation, you know, apart from the affair, is how much she betrayed Sheena Shays, you know, now, the whole, the whole um, podcast, like I said, is powerful, is big, um, Sheena cries, Sheena remembers many things, and it, it kind of like don't make, make much sense. But also, I think it was a very powerful part when they say that, uh, you know, Sheena in a, in, 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 in a part of the podcast, she says, I'm grieving. I'm grieving the loss of this friend. I'm grieving the loss of this person that I invested so much, that I thought that it was going to be in my life forever, that I basically like, um, how you say, like, um, you know, yeah, that it was her right or that, you know, that he 
tell everyone, please trust Raquel. She's not a bad person. She's maybe a little bit weird, but give her, give her a chance. Give her a chance. You know what I mean? That was, that was uh, what Shino was doing. And she said, like, I'm grieving that loss. However, like Lala said, it says, like, yes, but you are grieving the loss of a person that it never exists. At the end of the day, Raquel is an invention of her mind. It's kind of like a double personality situation, you know? It says, Lala says, like, she never was real. The person who was real was Rachel, you know? And Sheena says, Rachel is the one who is this evil persona that we never expect her to be, you know? Apparently, you know, when um, she, I think at some point, Sheena went back to San Diego, so she allowed Raquel to stay at her apartment while she was out because Raquel didn't have a place to stay. And she said, well, she was like, yeah, don't worry, you know. And apparently Raquel was a mess, you know. Uh, Lala says that she was constantly receiving calls from people saying Raquel is drunk, Raquel is falling in the floor, is, stopping, is, is stumbling around, you know. And also that Raquel was bringing all these random guys to Sheena's apartment, you know? Not only that, not only that girl, Raquel was sleeping around, which, look, we're not going to slut shaming, you know, you can sleep with whoever you want, that's fine. But what is not fine is that you are going to sleep around with I don't know how many men on Sheena's bed, where she was not supposed to even be there, okay? So on Sheena's bed, where she sleeps with her husband and her kids, you know? And the worst part is she wasn't even changing the shits after every, like, encounter. So much that Sheena, after she learned the things that she was doing, you know, and all of that, she had to call Ra Ra uh, Rachel, <laughs> uh, Rachel, you know, and remind her. And, and, and Sheena says, like, I wasn't even mad because I knew that she was going through something. I wasn't even mad at the fact that she was having sex with random guys. She says, I literally just called her and I had to remind her, hey, hey, can you please at least wash the sheets before we arrive, you know? And she's like, I have to remind her of this like common courtesy, you know, things that you do. I mean, you do not stay on another apartment to sleep on the main bedroom and then you said that to have all kind of sex with all kind of strangers bringing a strangers into a home that is not even yours you know and you're not even washing the shit you're literally leaving them so then she and her kid and, and and brooke are coming here to 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 sleep there how well disgusting but like how like psychotic is this Anyways, this was just like a little part. So like Sheena, she feels that she lost this person forever and she was very invested. That was her friend. That was her best friend. And now she's mourning the loss of her best friend. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.